on your Anna apples, at the end of the stem, mm -hmm. you know, you'll get six, eight blooms come springtime, and each one of those flowers, be, you know, becomes an apple. Well, you've got to thin those to get an apple of any size, so you don't have like little cherry size apples. How do you like to thin them? Do you like to go take the blooms off and shake the tree, or do you wait till they've actually set? to make sure there's apples there and then thin them from that point. Well, there's two different theories and there is a way, if you know the difference on what you're looking at in the flowers, there's always one flower we call the king flower on that cluster. So that king flower will produce the largest apple of that flower grouping. And so you could do it at the bloom stage and then you'll, you'll pull off the flowers. I'll usually always leave at least two just to make sure I didn't make a mistake and grab, <laughs> grab the wrong flower. <laughs> but there's a, the king bloom is usually the one in the center. It's the one that starts blooming the first out of the cluster. That's the one that's going to likely produce your largest, your largest fruit. It's got the easiest channel for all the nutrients. That's why it grows a little bit bigger. It's usually the one in the center of the cluster. So that's one side of it. The other side of it is just let it bloom. Let it see. Make sure you got enough pollinators. It's going to pollinate and you're going to have these little apple buds. And then we like to create either you keep a cluster and I'll keep three apples. So there's the other approach is that I want one big apple or I want three medium sized ones on that cluster. And so it just depends on the size of an apple that you want. You want more apples that are medium sized or you want more or you just want a fewer apples, bigger size. And that's kind of your ratio. Either grab the one king, the king bloom or just keep three of the smaller ones and you'll get three apples on that edge.